Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, just gonna wait just a couple of minutes. I'm on here later than I was hoping. I got home about an hour and a half ago from my trip to Oklahoma to see my daughter. And um, I hit construction coming home and I stopped at Daiso. So there's going to be a Daiso haul later this week. Hey Ty, how are you? I see three of y'all on so far. Let me see if I can um, get this open on my channel. Hey Ashley, I'm glad you made it. Um, give me just a second. I gotta get this. There we go. Trying to get everything set up here. Hi, Flo. Oh, goodness. 35. Yeah. Um, I hit traffic north, or well, no, not, I would say just between Fort Worth and Dallas, and then I hit it again, um, right there in Austin. So, uh, yeah. It was, um... Turned, it was supposed to be a six and a half, uh, it ended up being an eight and a half hour drive going up. I left at 10 this morning and I got home about an hour and a half ago. Me too, Ty. I'm mowing the lawn and listening. <laughs> that is multitasking. I will give you kudos for that. That is for sure, Patricia. It was a good trip. Um, it was not long enough, but I will take what I can get. Um, went up there, you know, paid her bills because that's, uh, she's got one more year. So we're covering all that. Um, did the grocery shopping, did a little bit of shopping with her. And, um, we went, Hey, we went and saw Aladdin guys. And that was a cute movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Will Smith was the perfect genie. That's all I got to say about that. And um, then we went to this barbecue restaurant chain. Had some great... Hi, Lynn Marie. Had some great ribs. And um, yeah. And then... Oh, thank you, Linda. And then... Um, so... ECK Creations. So uh, my oldest and his wife are in Pennsylvania. They're, I think they're just north of Montoursville, Williamsport. Oh, Patricia, I feel you because um, I used to live out in the country about, oh gosh, how long have Chris and I been together? 12, so, so 13, four, about 14 years ago, um, there was about two and a half, three acres that I push mowed every weekend in South Carolina. It was hot and muggy, and the gnats loved me. I'm not too familiar with uh, Pennsylvania, um, but I think my younger son worked for Susquehanna Hospital, I think. He's not here right now, so I can't ask him. But uh, I hit up a Hobby Lobby while I was there. Imagine that. I was hoping to find like all the clearance stuff that everyone's been showing, but, um, but, uh, they didn't have a lot, but then Ada's like, oh, s wicked small town. So the fact that it had a Hobby Lobby, I mean, I can't complain. And, um, I hit Daiso on the way home. So if those are y'all just popping in and by the way, um, Hi, Gwen. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Lynn. Linda. Um, no, not in Oklahoma. I'm lost. Oh, and I went to a Brahms for the first time in probably about 35 years. Arkansas. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. No, there wasn't much uh, sale items in that store. But I, I did 
I did find some cute things. Um, do a small little haul on that later this week. I'm debating because I went to Hobby Lobby <clears throat> and Daiso that I... Hello, Barbara from Staten Island. I have been kind of close to you. I've been to New York City when I graduated high school and Long Island. I got to see statue. Hi, Monica. But uh, I got to see Staten Island. <laughs> Anywho, um, I, I can't be on here too late. The riding mower so he, he can mow my nice. <laughs> I wish our house was... We have just enough that has to be mowed, but not enough to have a riding mower. Thank you, Lori. But, uh, ladies, I, I because I got home late, I, I can't stay on here late. But I did promise y'all a uh, review. We're going to just do the watercolors tonight. And then we're going to do the blending brushes. Um... I think we're going to aim for Tuesday because I'm sure tomorrow I've got some catching up to do at work. But, so these are, I think, a new line of watercolor through um, American Crafts. They're called Paper Fashion. And this set is the basics. I went um, and I got these on Amazon. And I know there are some other palettes. They're all really pretty, so I'm probably slowly going to try and get them. I think I originally quoted this like 20 something, but I think it was closer to 30. So, um, Ashley, those blending brushes, the ones that I got, I think I paid 13 or 14 for the set. And then I paid another 10 for that stand and you, they're separate. So you don't have to get both or you can, um, I just thought it would be if I saw them, I'd use them more often. So that's why I did it. So, so anyway, let's see. And I, I should have, so one thing I love about these, it's like opening candy. And, um, just so some of y'all know, a lot of these palettes, this little part will come out. So it makes it easier to, um, get, or get your, um, paints out. And then I won't be doing it tonight, but I will be, um, I save my wrappers. Now, one thing I noticed with this set, um, it doesn't come with the pigments. So I really doubt it's a really high quality ink. So otherwise they would tell you like all the pigments that come in each um, of the colors. But I am going to save these because I do like to, I have a fine point Sharpie and I'll write them on the side. So, so we're just going to start here. Actually, you know, we're just going to speed this up. Hi, Nix. So, Ashley, what kind of watercolor did you do or use or? I'm really happy you caught me. Let's see. I probably should have done all this before I started the video. Like I said, I got home later than I had planned. Uh, let's go, we're gonna go ahead and... Did everybody have a good weekend? Sorry for the lack of the plastic. And I'm... Um... I, I uh... Darn it, I can't remember. Oh, and, and just so everybody knows, I'm still getting to emails. So if you've written me and I haven't responded yet, I'm, I'm still getting to them. And I'm still trying to play catch up on comments. So just have had a busy June, I guess. What did y'all do this weekend? Oh. oh, it's always nice when you can just, like, do whatever you want as far as cooking goes, isn't it? Trying to keep them in order. Sorry, y'all. Catering for a wedding. 
that's a lot of work. Um, I think my son's wedding, I think there was only, oh, I could be wrong. I think there was like 75 to 100, but I know it was a lot of work to get all the food out there. Still making your baby book. What'd you go see, Ty? Actually, we're going to do this. Do y'all want me to share later on when I label my paints or yay, nay? I'm also going to, I'm not doing it today, but I'm going to create a little color palette chart to go in my tin later. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Oh, Annabelle, I can't do scary. <laughs> We, we, my, my daughter loves scary movies and I guess it doesn't really qualify as scary, but when we were going in to sit, she got all excited because I guess there's some new crocodile movie coming out and, uh, yeah. So she's like all excited because her roomie loves that kind of stuff too. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to that one with you. Well, crappy day. Oh yeah. I need to do that too. Um, hi, Christy. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy. This is not, I don't know how exciting this particular video is going to be. Um, these are some watercolors that I saw Christina Werner um, review a couple weeks ago. And I fell in love with them. I shared them. In a video last week I think and we are gonna check out the colors let's see yeah life definitely life definitely always gets busy and um, changes plans one thing I'm gonna agree with uh, with a lot of people I really don't like when they put whites in watercolor because um, I don't know that I've seen black watercolor paper, but most people I think only use the white to like either lighten, lighten your, your, your pigments, but you can also, you can do that with water. So oh, that sounds fun flow. I need to go get a petty. <laughs> I never get my nail, my hands done, um, just because I'm always into stuff and they just get messed up. But I love getting a pedicure. So let's see that. I'm gonna put these in order, and that way I can come back later and um, label my little colors. So did did anyone do? Did anybody? do 4th of July this weekend. A lot of people were saying 4th of July was this weekend, but I was thinking it would be next weekend. <gasps> oh, how nice. You know, I I grew up in Florida and I never made it to the Keys. Can you believe that? I did a lot of traveling, but we never made it to the Keys. So we are going to start... I'm going to read off the colors as we do this. And once I get some things set up, I have some fun water. You're a native Floridian. I'm from the uh, Gainesville area. I'm a gator girl. I spent most of my time. Hey, Karma. She's at my feet, guys. Um, I spent most of my time up in like uh, Pensacola, St. Augustine. Um, all that. Oh, you go, girl. So, let's see. I go home probably once a year now. I love to visit, but I would never live there. Um, to me, the cost of living is just way too high. 
So we are this one here, and I'm using it's not a quality watercolor paper. It's something I think it was like 25 sheets for like $18 at Hobby Lobby. So um, let's see. This one here is called Summer Yellow. See if I can get a math tone up here. I probably should have added more water. Um, one thing Christina Warner said is she loved how quickly that the colors activated. And I have to agree, agree it, it activated really quickly. Let's see. Can anyone hear my TV? I'm hoping that y'all can't hear my TV. Hi, Janet. Janet, um, I want to let you know, I your package is not in the mail yet. Um, it is going this week. Um, just because of last week, I didn't get stuff out. But I, I intentionally... They do have a really nice pigment. I intentionally went to Daiso so there's going to be a couple of goodies from Daiso in your package um so y'all this first color here is the summer yellow we're getting ready to do the this says red kiss and um yeah it's activating really well the colors are pretty vibrant oh and I want everyone I am not I am a total novice at watercolor, okay? So I only know um, what I've seen, you know, like on YouTube or learned from like Otto Cano. Uh, she's a really great channel if you want to learn watercolor. There's the Mind of Watercolor. Um, probably tomorrow night, I'll put a link in the description for a lot of the watercolor artists that I like to follow that... Um, if you're really interested, um, I've learned a lot um, watching them, so I'll, I'll I'll share those links. My husband retired a month ago, and I still have decades yet to work. Um, my husband retired, and oh, sorry, this one here, I'm just uh, is deep crimson. Wasn't that pretty? How that just like bloomed like that. Let's see if I can get it to not. Well, I just wanted you to know um, it was a really good trip, Janet. It uh, it was too short, but I mean, I'll I'll take what I can get. Um, I always have so much fun with my daughter, and I love that my kids like to hang out with me. So, <laughs> um, it was short, but it was a great trip. Um. Anyway, uh, I need to find some large, so that was Deep Crimson. The next one is going to be Dancing Rose. I need to find some of my large wooden block stamps, like florals, like roses or something, because there's a really pretty, I think this is supposed to be like an opera rose as far as this pink goes. Um, but I, I do have a really fun watercolor technique that you can use on your cards it's something I taught in um, when I used to do um, card classes and I think y'all will really enjoy it and it's it's so simple and it's just really makes a statement just started watercolor painting and I really like this paint palette how long have you Karen I am total novice I do not know a lot um, you would think I did if you looked at all the watercolors I have um, I have, I had, like I have mentioned, I am a, I'm a curator. <laughs> um, but, um, I've played with them. This one here. Okay. So this is dancing rose. This is like an opera rose. Um, it's not bad. I think this would be prettier if I had it on, um, like a Fabriano, um, watercolor or, a quality watercolor but I was trying to reach my watercolor drawer and 
Yeah, that didn't work out very well. Sorry, y'all. But I love how quickly these colors activate. And they move fairly well. Um, D DGML Max. I'm sorry. Um, I'm a Florida girl, in case you didn't know. I'm from Gainesville, so welcome. Um, I am a Florida girl who is retired and will stay in Texas. I love it here. Okay, so this here was Blue Night, and then the one I'm getting ready to do is Violet Sky. And um, for anyone who's curious, tonight I'm not going to update the description, but tomorrow when I get home from work, I promise I'll put the link to this palette uh, in the description when I update everything tomorrow. Because um, it is, it, it, you know, if you're a beginner and you don't want to put a lot of money in watercolor, this is a really nice palette. And this is the basics. And when I was looking on Amazon, um, there's, I think there's four or five other color families. Hi, Debbie. Yay, I'm a gator girl. I get a little, I get a, uh, Flo, me too. But then again, you guys have seen snippets of my craft room and you know that I'm a hoarder. I call myself a curator. So, so that was Violet Sky. Um, next, we're going to see Sea Kiss. So, um, oh, I thought that one would be brighter. That is a pretty color. This is a really fun, I think, spring-summer palette. I think this would work really well on, um, cards and, like, small, small pictures. And, like I said, I'll also add... How's your <laughs> Christy? <laughs> um, it's not looking good right now. That's right. I'm a collector, not a hoarder. Yeah, I love all my little watercolor tins, Tina. Um, we are. As you all know, I'm shop. Um, sadly, I'm good at it. Um. We had a whole bunch of stuff that I had downstairs. We brought it back upstairs. And we're staging everything in my daughter's bedroom. Because when she moved out, she took everything. So everything's staging in there. And I have a whole pile right over here. That, um, yeah, I, I might get brave and I might show y'all later this week. How about that? This one here is Green Dance. That's actually kind of a pretty, I'm not a big lime green person, but I think this would work really well in some floral leaves. Um, let's see. So Kelly, when I started actually, so I've always been into crafts in one form or another since I was about nine and, but I didn't, my one true love was quilting. So I've always had tons of that. But as far as cards and scrapbooking and all that, I only got into all of that probably about 2008. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Debbie. And um, let me make sure I'm not missing. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Um, and I started crafting on my bed in a little corner of my bedroom. So, yeah, um, that was the green dance. This next one is Autumn Sky. Let's see. Um, there's organizing going on in my daughter's room. I had started bringing stuff in the craft room and I would unbox it and put it everywhere. I'll, I'll tell you what. I will, I will show y'all how bad it is right now. Just because everything that's been going on this past month, 
Um, I mean, y'all have kind of followed my, how much time I've had. Um, not a lot happened this month except for the craft room looking worse. So I'll, I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. How's that? Hi, Kathleen. It's, it's really bad. I'm just telling you. Um, it's looking better in my daughter's room, but anyway, it'll get there. I don't have to do any traveling, uh, this next month. My son and his wife are coming the first weekend in August. So I'm excited because I haven't seen them. Karma is at my feet, Miss Barbara. She is, she's down there. I'll, I'll show her in just a second when I call myself out and show y'all the current state of my craft room. But so this is natural earth. And I think if I hadn't waited so long, it probably would have moved better, if that makes sense. Um, and, and if you're new, just coming on, I don't know a lot about... Hi, Leela. I don't know a lot about watercolor. What I've learned is from other channels. And I will... Tomorrow, I'll update the description with a lot of the YouTube channels I like to follow who are, like, very knowledgeable and can teach you a lot. Um, what I learn in watercolor, you guys will basically learn with me. So... We'll do the white, but the white really isn't going to show up. It's kind of like a useless color in almost all watercolors. If you want to use white, a lot of uh, watercolors will use like a white gouache because of its opacity. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's not, there's nothing showing there. Yeah, Sandy, Kathleen, oh, darn it. Uh, Sandy Alnuck is awesome. I love to, uh, I follow her, uh, Christina Werner, Mind of Watercolor, uh, Watercolor Misfit. Um, those are the ones that are popping my head right now. So uh, as you can see, the white's pointless. You can't see it. And then the last one is called Midnight Black. So... Um, for being a fairly inexpensive watercolor palette, I mean, y'all can see the colors are really vibrant. And in my updated frame video, there's a sneak peek. Oh, I will definitely go check out your little baby, um, Ashley. So, like I said, this isn't a quality watercolor paper. And I'll be honest, I don't know a lot of what I'm doing. But I promised I would show you guys so you can actually see how they look on paper versus just the cute little candy wrappings in the box, in the palette. Um, again, this is the Paper Fashion Basics by American Crafts. And I'll post the links to it on from Amazon because I bought it on Amazon. Oh, uh, blue point. Y'all, I got home and Karma like leaped and crawled up my leg for me to hold her. And she chased me all around the house. And, um, yeah. And she wore herself out. She's at my feet. So, um, but yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll update with, uh, you, great YouTube channels for watercolor um, links to that palette. Um, I grew up, well, I can't say I grew up with Siamese. My grandparents had Siamese and, um, my first kitty's name was Katie and she was a Siamese that followed me everywhere. They have the, they have a really loud voice. So... Which book is that, Johnny? I ha I've, I've signed up to some of her like online classes, Sandy's online classes. I haven't taken them yet and I'm going to, I, I haven't purchased it yet, but I want to get her Copic, um, hex chart for her, her co for the Copic markers. I've, from what I've seen, it's probably the most 
handy and like um, color comparison for you know as far as coloring goes. Bible journaling. Oh, oh. Yeah, she does some gorgeous Bible journaling. Okay. So, that's it on the watercolor. Um, I'm going to show y'all little Miss Karma. And then I will give you an embarrassing look of the current state of... I'm just going to show part of the craft room. So, it'll make y'all feel really good. How's that? Gonna make you real feel real good once you see what it looks like right now. And then I figure we can chat for a few more minutes, and then I have to go to bed because um, I get up at 4 a.m. for work, and it's currently here. It's nine o'clock. So, oh well, Kelly, I've been working on this poor craft room forever, and. The Ikea has been in here now for, what, since February? Yeah. Yeah, hold on, because it's bad, Johnny. So, all right. We're going to start off with cuteness right here at my feet. Try not to make anybody sick. There she is. If she's not in my lap or on the desk, she's down here at my feet. Ashley, if you lived closer and helped me with this, you'd probably walk away with a car full of craft stuff. She is. And as soon as it's time for bed, she'll be all wound up again and try to eat everything. So that's the computer my son built me. Um, I got to get my editing software. All right. Family changes, life changes, you work. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, Kelly. Okay, guys, here it is. Here we go. Current state. There's the craft. Here's the top of my desk. This is where I'm at. When I ask about my lights, those are my lights. They're tabletop photography lights. I got them on Amazon. Thank you, Monica. And uh, the set was only like $45. They're really good, and they've really helped. Okay. Let's see. There is... I don't have... Like your kitchen table. <laughs> There's some of the kitty cats. Y'all know me and my kitty cats. Um, some of my stuff up there. There's some, some tools. All right, you ready? Here we go. It's bad. It's really bad. And there's more. There's the stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a real craft room, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is... The current state of what is next to me. Um, that's all I'm going to let y'all see because it's not pretty. Um, but. Yeah. 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 That's what my husband says to his buddies, Ashley. So. So, yeah, that's that's the the craft room situation. So, if you're stressing about yours, you're not alone. Oh, Barbara, the top of my craft table, you know, the one in the middle of the room? Yeah, it's not pretty easy either. Well, I'm glad you're back, Linda. Yeah, it's it's very overwhelming. We're, we're putting stuff in my daughter's room, sorting in there. I've got different boxes. And then once I get the stuff that y'all just saw out, um, we'll sort, then I'll bring the stuff back in the room and put them, um, in their drawer. Here, let me, let me show y'all something real quick. Cause I know some of y'all have been following. Okay. Try not to make you sick. Okay. That set of drawers there, that is going to be letter boards and alphas. And then down here. 
well, I can't do any walking over here. It, it's bad. I can't reach anything in, that's down here at the bottom right now. Um, and then, like, tools that I won't use very often. This one here... I'll be honest, I don't remember what's in there. Here is... Gonna, is uh, there's water some watercolors in here, but a, a, a lot of this system here is moving. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Currently, some of my watercolors are in here and watercolor paper. Um, my collection of carnival pens because that's my cruising thing. More watercolor stuff. One of my palettes. Um, some of my Stampin' Up! stamps. Let's see. Some thickers just because I put them there to get them out of the way I can't get that one this is how I decided I'm going to label my drawers they'll state what's inside so I can see them and I just pull it so this here these are my favorite adhesive if anybody's curious um I do use the uh why can't I think what they're called I do use the Tombow, but I've decided that cost-wise, these are cheaper. I order these on Amazon, and they ship from Japan. The brand is Kokyo Dot Liner. There's a long, and then I have my, I think the small ones are in another drawer. And then, of course, I get the Sticky Thumb. I do like the Sticky Thumb. I grab those. Um, when I run out the door, here are the small ones that I like, the the smaller like Tombow size ones, and then I got these. You know when they were in clearance at Hobby Lobby. This is uh, removable masking tape. So yeah, three drawers of adhesive, and then the start of my tonic stuff more. Yeah, and all of this um, I got in my, the bulk of this I got in those tonic craft kits that I told y'all about and showed. Um, this here is probably going to be, I'm not sure what this one's going to be yet, but this one I think, yeah, this one's going to be like um, embellish, like embellishments, different stuff like that. Hello, they're so cute. Oh, and my dies that arrived from this. So, love, love, love. Now I can make some. And this is just me sorting. Uh, these containers here, the pink ones. Love all those drawers. What? You know, Barbara, I saved and saved and saved. And each time I thought I saved up enough either we have car repairs or a really big vet bill so I tried for like almost two years to do this and it finally happened this past February so it was a long time saving but this is going to be this is um, is eventually going to be like my seasonal drawer right now I just have the Christmas in it but I decided that I will put Christmas in totes, store them in the closet, and then like bring them out if that makes sense and rotate the holiday. This is sequined. It's small. Well, you know, Kelly, um, when we bought this house, all my kids were still, my, my oldest was a senior. And so... When we first bought the house, when you walk in our front door, it was like, that was my craft room. There was no hiding it. It was like in your face. And then when he graduated and moved out, this room was my middle guy's bedroom. So he got kicked out, put into his older brother's bedroom, and I confiscated this. And it was a hodgepodge of furniture. So, but that's basically where it's at at the moment. This is 
glitters and embossing powders, more glitters, some sequins. I adore Haichu candy, so anytime I go to Daiso, I buy a ton of Haichu. I don't eat it all the time, but it's not easy to find. Sorry if I'm missing everybody's comments. More Christmas that's got to go somewhere. But so that's that currently. All of this has TN stuff in it of one form or another. I'm still hunting. I'm looking for one of those vintage first room you walk in. Hey, hey we all got to start in a room somewhere. Hi, Sheila. And, um,. I'm looking for one of those vintage, like, kitchen stools. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, where you sit on it, and then the lower step folds out, and it turns into a seat, if that makes sense. Some of y'all who are young won't know what I'm talking about. But those, when you find them, they're so expensive. Like, if you can find a real one, you're lots of money. I work from home when I'm not traveling in my desk. Is my craft space and it hey you know you got to do what you got to do yeah so i'm that's what i want to find i want to find one of those i want to paint it a blush pink and that way i can actually get up into these drawers and and i'm just using them for storage until i can actually access them like i want to anyway i'm gonna slowly walk back there's little miss karma still sleeping Hey, baby. Karma. Hey, sweetheart. Say hello. Yeah. It's rough being a karma, isn't it, sweetheart? Oh, um, yes. Cora. Cora was adopted. Um, she is... Go oh, uh-oh. She is... Stay. Sorry. <sighs> Stay. She has a wonderful new mom and dad. I will probably wait a couple of weeks before I take in another foster. Yeah. Karma's my little celebrity, too. Come here, sweetie. Give me baby girl. Come attack the stuff on the table. On my desk. Stretch. I wish y'all could hear her. Her motor is like 24-7 all the time. But my, uh, what was it? Tina, my, my middle guy is home with us right now. Um, he'll be here probably till next May or June. Um, he got out of a relationship and where he lived, there was no, like, really great job market there. And we told him as long as he was working and paying his bills that he was welcome. So now he's, he helps, like, with, you know, like, stuff with the house. And he's saving up. Um, he wants to buy a house in the next year. So, and when Michaela graduates, Karma, that's not ladylike. Um, when Michaela graduates, they're actually going to get a place together. That'll help him. And she's like, she was all up for it because she's like, yeah, she can put extra money towards her student loans and all that fun stuff. But anyway, um, sorry it wasn't a, a longer video. And um, thanks for, yes, that's what we told our kids to, all five of mine are out on their own, yeah. Um, my daughter works really hard. She's, she's uh, loving her clinicals. And um, we give her an allowance and she, she budgets it, budgets it and her friends want to go do stuff. She's like, well, not my budget, I can't go. She never asks for anything. My oldest has never asked for anything at all. My middle guy didn't ask to move home. We kind of like offered it to him as, you know, and uh, he thought about it. And then he 
realized that was a good idea to pay his stuff off and and yeah so I gotta tell you I was terrified to become a mother because when I was younger um, to me the the further away children were the cuter I thought they were <laughs> that sound that sounds bad um, so I was terrified to be a mom but and I was always worried the whole time I was raising them if I was doing it right oh thank you and they've all turned out to be really great young adults and respectful. And so that makes me very, and they love to hang out with me. So I enjoy that. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you'll have a good night. I'm going to uh, shut this down right here because I got to go take care. Oh, Real quick, El Suave's doing good. He's actually starting to put some weight on his foot. Those of you who've been following along. Um, I mean, we still know, you know, uh, the prognosis isn't great, but at least for now, you know, he's feeling well. Good night, Miss Kelly. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's good. It was nice to finally uh, catch up with you, Ashley. Anyway, ladies, uh, have a good night. Um, I'm going to try and be on tomorrow, but I'm not positive. I will definitely be on Tuesday. And um, thanks for all the well wishes on the trip. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And I uh, hope you got some either family visiting or crafting done. But you all have a good night. Love you all. Bye-bye.